So they want the seventh term of the geometric sequence. So you can tell you're multiplying by negative 3 every time. And gosh, she's almost giving you all the seventh terms. Yeah. First, you could just keep multiplying by negative 3 a couple more times and you'd be there. But she wants you to use a formula, so fine, we will. Which formula do we use? It's geometric, and it's, we're looking for the nth term. There's no sum involved, so don't go there. So it's just the nth term is the first term times the common ratio, n minus 1 times. So I'm looking for the seventh term, so I represent that with a sub 7, is the first term, which is negative 1. The common ratio, I'm multiplying by negative 3 every time. And again, I'm looking for the seventh term, so n is 7, so 7 minus 1 is 6. So, just work this out. This is negative 1 and negative 3 to the 6th. Because it's a negative to an even power, it's going to be positive. So 3 to the 6th is 729. And a negative 1 times 729 is negative 729. Let's just check it just for fun. So this is the first term, second term, third term, fourth term, fifth term, uh, sixth term, seventh term. So if I do negative 81 times negative 3, I get... 243, and if I multiply it by another negative 3, I get negative 729. So 729, negative 729 is indeed the seventh term. Awesome.